welcome to BCSD News. Here's a look at what's happening in the Bakersfield City School District. It is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Alpha Delta Kappa to the 53rd Annual Juliet Thorner Awards Program. Families celebrated together at Sierra Middle School cheering on our Juliet Thorner Award recipients. The ceremony honors students who demonstrate academic achievement, citizenship, leadership, and a contribution to human enrichment. They exemplify the um, attributes of Dr. Thorner. It is a big deal to receive this in either elementary, junior high, or high school. Congratulations to all of our students recognized for going above and beyond this school year. All right, who's ready to get started? The 23rd Annual Academic Pentathlon kicked off at Stern Middle School. Students in 4th through 6th grade gathered together to compete in a number of learning challenges including literature, essay, history, social science, science and mathematics. I think it's so fun to see the work the kids have done collaboratively at their school sites and I applaud our coaches who spend hours mentoring these uh, students to be prepared for today. Who is the elected as the first governor of California? The Academic Pentathlon provides students with the opportunity to highlight their academic achievements through competitive challenges, while also building a sense of community as students compete alongside students from different schools. A big congratulations to all of our students on their academic achievements at the Pentathlon and this school year. <laughs> BCSD students showed off their gaming skills at the Spring Esports Tournament. Multiple teams from Curran, Sequoia, and Sierra traveled to Cato to compete. So in addition to the home to school connection that is being built by participating in esports, the students are learning how to strategically plan, how to communicate, how to navigate digital interfaces, how to work with one another, and these skills are, they're, they're essential in the 21st century global economy. Teams of three are randomly selected to enter a virtual ring to compete against each other, showcasing sportsmanship, strategy, and teamwork in hopes of being named the ultimate champion. It's pretty fun. More people should join yeah, ready, ready, ready. overall. And I, and I feel like schools, other schools have like have this program. Playing Rocket League is just the best part because sometimes you're communicating with your teammates and just trying to score and just trying to win. It gives you a chance to, to show what you're capable of. Congratulations to all of the teams who competed. Emerson Middle School held the third annual Viva El Arte, a week-long chalk art competition encouraging student artists and families to take to the concrete to showcase their creativity. This year, student creations focused on the theme, festivals around the world. I think it's important because the students um, see look forward to something towards the end of the year and um, we have very talented students and we want to we want them to show off their talent and also get to know um, other things that are happening around the world. Our goal is really to reach every student's um, passion um, and and for some outside of academics of course is art and in order to showcase that artwork all those the skills that our students have in that, um, we want to provide that venue for them, uh, highlight it, um, and so that students are able to express themselves in that way. My favorite part about this event is that you're able to like pick any festival that you're able to do from any other culture and you can just draw however you think it looks like or how it is. Congratulations on your creative masterpieces, Eagles. Now We're Cooking wrapped up for the school year with a fun competition at Jefferson between parents, staff, and district administrators. The final family cooking opportunity of the year was quite the challenge as the recipe and ingredients were revealed 15 minutes before the start of the competition. Today we were baking, we were actually decorating cakes. So everybody or the teams got an animal that they had to recreate or, you know, um, decorate with whatever items they gave us. They gave us candy, frosting, cookies. almonds, cookies. And then this year uh, we've been going around the world with our recipes, so we've been to Poland, Mexico, Vietnam. So those are some of the recipes that we've done throughout the school year this year. Thank you to our face and nutrition services teams for offering Now We're Cooking to our families and providing this quality bonding time.
840 music students from across the district performed in the 47th annual Elementary Festival Concert. The event consisted of three parts, beginning with a beautiful performance by a string ensemble that included over 240 instrumental music students who play violin, cello, and string bass. Following after, a concert by the Elementary Honor Orchestra, then a performance by Glee Club students from each of our elementary schools. It was a wonderful performance highlighting our youngest learners' musical achievements. That's it for this edition of BCSD News. Until next time, be safe and well. We'll see you soon.